All right, here we are. We're back with the second part of this video here. I'll finish this reading and uh, Okay, you guys we were just talking about how uh, I'm Colossians you guys see that no one takes you captive with uh, philosophy through empty deceptions Okay, according to the traditions of men according to the elementary principles of the world rather than according to Christ Jesus Christ gave us some teachings you guys and it's very important that we follow his teachings and obey what his teachings were and the gospel according to what's written not what man's saying okay a lot of these pastors today you guys I've talked to many of them after traveling around for three and a half years and my videos and you've seen these videos and I've talked to many of these pastors a lot of them don't even believe in half of what's written in the Bible so that's why they they want to give you um, their interpretation of it and uh, they they've diminished it they've totally diminished what Christ came to do remember Jesus came to destroy the works of Satan we are here to know what good and evil is so don't think for one moment that evil isn't going to try to destroy the works of Christ. And the scriptures warned you of this too. And most people, they're not even opening their Bibles. They're just believing what people are telling them. Okay. 16, Romans 18 through 20, chapter 16, 18 through 20. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. This is why I'm saying to you guys, open your scriptures and read them daily. And uh, that way you won't be deceived by these people. And you know clearly that um, faith without works is dead. This is in your scriptures. And it's not that we do works trying to earn it because we can't earn it. Uh, only the blood of Jesus Christ is what saves us. We know this, and that's why we're seen without spot and blemish. And we also know, by reading the scriptures, willful sinning uh, remains no more sacrifice for it. Those that are willfully sinning daily, Jesus warned of sinning. He said something worse can happen to you. Or God in the scripture says, because they took pleasure in unrighteousness, he would send them strong delusions to believe the lies. This is what you're hearing a lot of today, right now. That's why I keep doing what I keep doing, to try to remind people um, who have the love of Christ and, um, and uh, that do want to obey his teachings. It's important that you don't be led astray with uh, people that are teaching a different gospel. Read, open your Bibles and read them and you won't be deceived. And you'll be glad you did. You know, and you really, you won't be deceived. This is the truth. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet, I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. I had a dream about that, I told you guys uh, about two weeks ago maybe, where a snake was following me around and I grabbed it really fast, stuck it underneath my foot and stepped on it and blood shot out from underneath my foot. And that was Satan's head, okay? You guys, you have to be steadfast and determined, okay? I don't say what I say out of hatred towards any of those people because they're, under, they're either under deception, it's not them, it's the spirit. The Antichrist spirit. As I said before, watch David Wilkerson, man. Some of his old videos, man. I mean, he was he seen it coming. He seen it coming 10, 15 years ago. Uh, he seen it coming, and he was warning people, man. It's here. He goes, it's the spirit of Antichrist. And these spirits, it's the devil getting it in people. So when the man of perdition, the son of perdition does show up, they're going to all receive him. And he was saying, even the churches. He's seen it where the churches were even being made ready for this. And I've talked to many of them. Most people don't even know what's in the scriptures. 
because they're not reading these scriptures that I'm reading. Let no man deceive you with vain words, Ephesians 5, 6. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 22. Seize ye from men whose breath is in his nostrils. For wherein is he to be accounted of? You see what I'm saying? This is why you need to get into your scripture. Yeah, we can share, we can comfort, we can edify with one another. But don't put your salvation on what one man is telling you. Okay? It's on, it's on what Jesus Christ did. It's through grace, through faith, and what he did. But now you got to obey his teachings. You have to follow him daily. Him, his teachings daily. That's why we read these scriptures. And, and he said, if you don't love me above your children, your husband, your wife, all of that. If you don't love me first, you're not worthy of me. And he said, if you don't pick up your cross and follow me daily, you're not worthy of me. That's why it says, give us this day our daily bread. Today. Okay, yesterday's gone. It's already gone. Man, we got through yesterday and we didn't have to sin not once, did we? But see, those other people, they're doing it continually. God help them, you know? Now, that's willful sinning, and that's why they're saying it. They, they're telling you they do it daily. In other words, they're going to do it tomorrow, too. They already know what their future's already set. We trust in Jesus Christ and His work on the cross for the remission of our sins, washing us in His blood. By grace, we are saved through faith in God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Now, we follow Him daily. We obey his teachings. We do the will of the Father, which is to believe on his Son, who sent, he sent to take away our sins. But to do not let these hyper grace teachers, who are saying nothing else is needed, because Jesus warned us about these false teachers in the last days. Okay? I don't need to get into names. You guys know who they are. Because they, they don't say anything else. They say even future sinning, man. They read your Bibles. You won't see future sinnings in it. I guarantee it. You won't see it in it. It'll warn you about sin is what it'll do. They're not warning you. They're telling you to embrace it. Jesus Christ came here to destroy the works of the devil, okay? Don't forget that. You won't hear that on their channels. Okay? By grace, through faith, in Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ cleanses us of all of our past sins. Okay? In other words, if you keep sinning and sinning and sinning, you know, how, where's your past sins? Where does it stop? You know, especially willful sinning. Scripture says there's a sin that's not a sin in the dead. And that's going to be where maybe we've done something we just don't know about it. You know? But when you willfully say you're doing it, oh my, you know, because I'm not trying to willfully sin nothing, man. I'm, you know, if you fear the Lord, you'll depart from it. You'll stay far, 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 far away from it, as Chris would say. That's what Chris says on my channel every now and then. I stay far, 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 far away from it, you know. We follow Jesus Christ daily and we love him above all else. His teachings tells us those who do not sin or those who, who do not follow me are not worthy of me. If you don't love him above everything else, you're not worthy of him. And we are no longer willfully sinning. All right? Those who are, that's who it is they obey. That's what scripture tells you. See, you don't hear those guys reading that scripture. You know, you, th that is who you obey. Whether sin into death or God into obedience. So, you guys, you got to open your Bible and read that. So, these people say they're doing it daily. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Yesterday, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I can't see where I sinned. You know, unless my coffee with honey in it or something, you know, 
uh, can't see where I sin. You know, I ate a sandwich with uh, French fries that I didn't lust after anything or anyone. I didn't, you know, I don't know anything. If, if I did, I don't know about it. But if you willfully sin, do you understand what I'm saying here? And today, I'm not looking at willfully sinning at anything. Do you see the difference, you guys? It's important to read your scriptures, man. And when we, if you fear God, you'll depart from it. And I also know scripture tells me sin, evil pursues sinners. And these people say, oh, we do it every day. If you say you don't, you're a liar. And when you read scriptures, it's just the opposite. They used to rebuke sinners. Now today, if you they're rebuking you if you say you don't do it anymore. That you obey from the heart. That's what scripture tells you. We no longer do those things. We've obeyed from the heart. Okay, and that's why it says if they would just open their heart to let Christ in to heal them. No, they'd rather sin every day. Romans 6.16 Know you not that whom you yield yourself servant to obey, his servant you are, whom you obey, whether sin in the death or obedience in the righteousness. Okay. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot seize from sin, beguiling unstable souls. You guys, a heart that they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, practicing the lie, living according to the flesh, Feeding the flesh in all its members. You guys, these are the daily battles that we should be going through. Resisting that devil. Overcoming. Bringing every thought captive into the obedience of Christ. This is why we've had our eyes open. Now, I never knew these scriptures before, but now I do. Now I know the things that used to come against me. I know through Christ, through what he's done. And I know what grace really is now and what faith really is. You know, because you will obey him if you truly believe. Faith. That's what faith is. If you truly believe, you're going to want to obey every word. Because to truly believe in your heart is to know it's the truth. We no longer submit ourselves like we did. Evil pursues sinners. That's why they say they what they do daily. Okay? Romans 7.13 Was then that which is good made death unto me, God forbid, but sin that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. Uh, knowing the commandments and willful sinning, willfully acting, willfully behaving in opposition to the commandments is exceeding, is exceeding sinful. We have been reconciled, okay, by the gift the Lord Jesus Christ gave us, okay? Jesus' life here on the earth, death of his flesh, shedding his precious blood to resurrection, a newness of life into eternal life. Okay? The gift of reconciliation is not a license to continue in sin. It's not. Matthews 5.19 Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven but whoever shall do them and teach them shall be called great in the kingdom okay you guys God bless you guys I love you all in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ be steadfast and strong in the Lord don't uh, 
open your scriptures. This is new people. I know most of the people on my channel here, they read their scriptures. They fear God and they don't some willfully sin every day. And that's what's important here. So be strong and be steadfast in the Lord. And uh, be ready, you guys. It's closer than everybody knows. We're further in this than everybody knows. Because they haven't really been acknowledging what, was, what Jesus said then. And what's been revealed today. To understand that the man of perdition, he's already... Done it. It's not a building like everybody thinks. It's the body. The Word of God says the body's a temple. Jesus Christ said, destroy this temple, and I will raise it in three days. All right? He was talking of his body. Remember, God doesn't change. That's why it says it in the scriptures. He doesn't change. But people sure do, don't they? God bless you all. I love you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray for all our brothers and sisters of all nations, tongue, and kindred and all the children and pray the will of the father be done on earth as it is in heaven god bless you in jesus name